Oh, this will be fun. This, my friends, is Kevin. Everyone say hi to Kevin. Hello, how are you? Oh, we just slapped him in the face. Good thing is we have to throw a shuriken 15 meters to uh, probably do unspeakable things to him and end his entire career. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't like red Kool-Aid, so if I switch him over to the zombie who has innards of green Kool-Aid, we can do other fun things to zombie Kevin. So, zombie Kevin, why don't you just move on over here like a good boy? And then we're gonna take a shuriken like this and we're gonna go yeet and, oh, that was close. We threw it 15 meters. Hey, I got an achievement, that's great. And now I have to tear a limb off with a shuriken. Oh, that's too bad. Can I tear that one off? I wanna tear that one off. This one right here, can I tear that one off? I wanna tear your arm off. Oh, but I did unlock an ax, which is fun, and I ran out of money. <laughs> Meaning that I can pick up an ax and go whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, that's satisfying. Whee! Can, does it work? Oh, uh, I can't continue hitting him, but I did do a lot of damage. So, one smack. Oh, that was a good smack. And ready, get set, and a big turn, big turn, big turn. It's like a lawnmower. <laughs> oh, another good hit. And eventually, we just get one of these. Bam! Hey, that was good, right in the arm. I see the thing is I need to destroy that arm a little bit so I can throw shurikens at it. Is that good enough? I still have a thousand dollars. Oh, your hat fell off, Kevin. Are you okay? You gonna be all right, big fella? Now let's see if the shuriken working. Come on. Oh, yay, I tore his arm off. Oh, I mean, oh, I feel so bad for my arm. Now the other fun thing is fun teleporters. If I place a teleporter there and a teleporter up there, then I can make a nice little conveyor belt of these things. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt Kevin, he likes it. So all I need for him to do is go this way, deal a bunch of damage, and oh, that didn't quite work right. So if I move the portals to be something more like this, and I promise Kevin's gonna have so much fun. Look at him go. This is a amusement park ride that I don't think I would personally like to go on, but zombie Kevin doesn't seem to mind. Oh no, he's stuck. Oh, he just got yeeted out. Oh, that's fine. Everything's good in the world. Now we've done 800 damage. We have an objective to deal a thousand. And I'm hoping we get there. Nice, it's working, it's working. Ah, a thousand damage completed. Whoa. Oh, he's stuck though. Ooh, and we just unlocked the spider weapon. I wonder if I can get that right now. Hello? <laughs> Oh yeah, you have enough money. Go little spider. <laughs> What's it gonna do? There it is. Oh, he's just gnawing on him. Oh, wow, oh, he coated him in webs. He's doing a ton of damage to him too. He's turning into a mummy, not just a zombie. I just gotta slap him every once in a while. Yeet, and slap. <laughs> oh, and I unlocked the grenade thrower too. Ooh, a newer weapon of piranhas. And he's officially stuck, so that was good. A few moments later. So if I build myself a little conveyor belt of gooey goodness, then I should be able to get a higher score than what I got before, which means I also get to unlock a balloon and a fan. I don't even know what those do, but it looks like a monster is coming up pretty soon too. Oh no, he's stuck. Whatever shall we do? And slap. Get, no, 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 don't go down there. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 keep rolling, <laughs> keep rolling. You are so close, yes, the monster's unlocked. Good, I wanted to know whatever this plus three is, and it's a, totally a times three, not plus three. I just can't math right now. Ooh, his arm fell off. Ooh, plus three multiplier, times three. And that gives me another $400, which I'll use to buy more of these fun things. Also probably a steak. Not like the physical ED typey steak, but like these things, because they're exciting. Oh, I can't afford it. Um. Go away. I still can't afford it, so go away. So, steak time. Ooh, he likes it. I need to use up two steaks. Oh, on the ceiling. I totally dumbed that up. And he's dancing. Look, he's a dancing man. Get in the hole. So I'm hoping those steaks will fire. Oh, they will. Come on, use up the steaks. Use up that, oh, that was dirty. And then another one, and another one. Good, we used up two. Yes, it worked. We're getting $100 more. And now we can have six dump six spiders on the dummy at the same time. Where's my little spider boy? He's like, I'm deliciously hungry. Nom 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 nom. Ooh, I just unlocked a black hole weapon. I think he's stuck. His limbs are falling off too, but I get another $126. So the real question is if I delete a few of these and I just hit play, can I just take spiders? And I'm supposed to put six spiders on them. I don't have enough money for that. But now I do. Go little spider army. <laughs> Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I kind of feel bad about that. He's entirely connected to this. Oh, I get to attach him to the ceiling using a web? Oh, that sounds fun. How do I do that? I have a feeling if I use spikes on the ceiling, as I was saying, then we might be able to get him stuck up here. We'll just make a nice little box of fun. 
Kevin loves fun things. All right, slow. We're gonna go slow mode. We're gonna grab spider boys. And now that he's in here, we're just gonna have him do this. Really game? You're really doing that to me right now? Fine, I'm gonna slap him in the hole. Slap him in the hole, slap him in the hole. He doesn't want to get slapped in the hole. We need uh, another one of these right about here and we need to go swoop and swoop. And now it'll work beautifully. <laughs> go little buddies. Okay, he's not stuck to the ceiling yet. Whoa, they're sucking him into the portal. It's not gonna work. All right, removing these, we're gonna put in spiky boys now. Sticks, delicious, yummy, grilled steak. I could go for one of those right now, by the way. Put spiders in the hole. Oh no, he left our cage. Kevin, why do you do this to me? All right, it's working, it's working. Pull him up, pull him up. Nope, 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 ah! One of these times it'll work, I promise. Oh, that's so close to being on the ceiling. That is so stinking close. Why do you guys eat him in the portal? I have an idea that will work better. Instead of having this in a box, why don't I have it on an upward conveyor belt? Then he'll get to the ceiling and he won't be able to escape. I mean, he doesn't want to escape. He just likes being up there. So let's try out this new contraption with the spiders. There you go, spiders. Oh, that was so easy. <laughs> also looks fairly painful. Have Shelob cover you up and you're losing a lot of your moldy limbs. So I pay the conveyor belt again. Hopefully we can take and put some fishies on him to bite on his legs. Ooh, we got a good one there. And let's slow it down to like quarter speed. Try to get it on his arms and stuff. Ooh, we got another leg. Let's get it on the lower leg. There goes the foot. Come on, up there, up there. Bite that arm, bite that arm. It looked like it attached to the arm. Okay, we got a foot, we got a leg, we got an arm. Let's get another one here. That's not where I was hoping. Oh, bite, 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 bite. Yes, another one, but that's the wrong arm. We have enough money to get one more fish. And I'm hoping, oh, here it is. Yes, bite that arm. No, 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 not that arm, not that. Okay, get a fishy boy, what are you doing? Don't go down there, dude. Okay, hopefully he attaches. Oh, the fish is still rolling. <laughs> no, keep going, fishy. Catch him, catch him, zombie Kevin. Oh, what a grab. What an incredible grab. Okay, so we have, oh, yes, we did the thousand damage with the fish. And now we have to wait until his limbs fall off. It's a little bit, a little bit uh, grotesque right there. Oh, we got one limb off. Good job, fish, you've done the work. Come on, another one, another one falls. Oh, he jumped up. He's like, this might hurt a little bit. Don't worry, he's a zombie. Zombies don't have feelings. Oh, yes, there it goes. Limb number two. Can I do the 2,000 damage here too? I might be able to. It's so close. Yes, 2,000 damage. That means I get more money. And I got a new high score, even better. And boop. Oh, a goblin. Weird, how much does a goblin cost? Oh, it's a goblin in a barrel, it's $300. I don't have enough money for that, but I do get another 240. So our next objective is to teleport 10 bombs. Also, we have this thing down here. I don't know what it does. All right, so if I get the bombs, can I afford 10? I can afford like 13 of them, 15 of them. Yeah, 15, okay. So I'm gonna try to teleport them by boop. Hey, it worked. Okay, that was actually really good. As soon as he falls, I'll, oh, okay, good. I wasted one. I'm going to do better, I promise. There's two. The bombs are doing good work too. And three, good hit, good hit. Nope, nope, this is bad, this is bad. I need help, I need help. Get up there, get up there. Nope, get in the, just get set. Good, more bombs. Okay, whoop. Uh-oh, uh-oh, get down the hole, yes. And whoop, got another one. All right, those bombs aren't actually doing anything. I don't know why, they hit the box and exploded. Oh, that was a big miss. I need like one more, I can only afford to lose one more bomb. Okay, good. Good, uh oh, I think I messed it up. But I, ooh, there's something falling off. And yeet, oh shoot! I think I have a problem. I don't think I teleported enough. I can only afford one more. Shoot, but I did get more, so that's fine. I can just reload and do the same thing again. Or I can entirely change how I'm doing this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are the bomb gonna catch up? Uh oh, that was the wrong way. That was the wrong way too. Whoop, I think I can do it. Does, if a bomb teleports more than once, does it count as a double? No, it doesn't. It's individual bombs. Okay, I can do this. I think I got one more. Yes, ha ha, I teleported the bombs. Okay, so next up we get to reverse gravity by clicking. Zero gravity, I don't know what this means. Okay, 20 seconds of reverse gravity, sure. 
Oh, how do I reverse it? Ah, turn off gravity by clicking. Reverse gravity by clicking. I didn't realize I could do this. All right, let's fill this map full of a bunch of gravity things. And I think I can just, yeah, yeah, I can reverse gravity. And all I should need to do is 20 seconds of flight. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's working. This isn't hard. Thank you, game. I like it when you do nice things to me. Oh, no. <laughs> I lost it. I really like this hand thing that they added to the game. Come on, come on, come on. 20 seconds, yes. And now the game's like, I want to do unspeakable things underwater. So I need to play and then move the water. Sure, that should work. All right, now if I put in spiders, I need to stick it to the floor. Hold on, I know how to do this. What we'll do is we'll drop the water level. We'll stick it to the floor and then we'll raise the water level. All right. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> now we need to deal 2,000 damage while the dummy is in the water. I can do... Ooh. It's interesting. I can keep it stuck to the floor in the water. I don't know what this does either, but I think it might make my dummy super big. We'll put in a disco ball and we'll hit the button. We'll raise the water to the max and then I will cover him with fish. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, it's getting big and large and in charge. 2,000 damage in the water should be no problem. Wow, we're actually just devouring him. Okay, that water is turning Kool-Aid colored, which is weird. And now the question is what happens if I drop it? Do the fish move? Okay, it's working. And then if I raise it again, does it mean that he moves? No, but some of the limbs are moving. But now the fun thing is the game wants me to play with balloons. I love balloons. Oh. <laughs> Whee! All right, that's fun. All right. Oh, I can pop the balloons. Interesting. Can I use this? That doesn't pop the balloons, but it's moving the dummy. And then we'll turn them around and we'll go the other way. Yay! Now I need more balloons on here. And I'm not sure what this will do, but that's a black hole. Can I just... Do this. Hey, that worked. Ah, perfect. And since we're playing with balloons, this one sounds fun. We'll just grab a balloon, attach it right to his brain unit. Can you stand up, please? I know you're smart enough to. There we go. We'll take some shurikens and go boop, 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 boop. Come on, I only have like 15 left. <laughs> it's working. Look at that balloon. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's not nice. Oh, but I can teleport a balloon 10 times. All it takes is one balloon attached to him, as I was saying, and then, oh, wow, it popped. Is he falling too fast? Wait, it's actually working because the balloons are just going straight up. I thought they might have to be attached to them. <laughs> come on, come on, yes. Stop it, balloons. I gotta pop you all. Oh, get, get, step, get ready, get step, step. I'm not gonna lie, these balloons are a little more fun than they assumed they were gonna be. Raise your hand if you like balloons. Kevin likes balloons. One on each limb. Yay, Kevin. Change gravity. <laughs> now this is also a painful one, but I'm an expert at doing things painfully, especially for Kevin. I'm just gonna try to remove one of his legs. He doesn't need both of them. Kevin, I what did I tell you about playing with your wheel? You need to get back on the wheel. Fine, we'll just persuade you to go back to the get back, back, get back. There you go. Wheel. Yay! <laughs> this is so wrong. Now we have objective to move a fish 75 meters. I feel like I can do that fairly easily. I have the hiccups. That's not great. Alright, if we just spawn in a buttload of fish, it might work. It seems like it's working pretty well. Did it. Nailed it. Also, why were the fish eating that thing? I don't know. I hope that they can do it, though, because if they can do it, then I get extra bonus points. I know I can do it if I just spawn in a bunch of fish on this thing. And then I think it'll give me more money. I don't know what it did. But I know if I spawn in a few monsters, and then I can cut off a limb from a dummy with a saw, it should be a good combination. This Kevin likes monsters, especially when he's sleeping. Now, one of the things done. Use five monsters hanging on balloons? Hold on, can I do that? One. Oh, it popped. Oh, yeah. Oh, they gave him acid juice. Neat. This one's like, deal a thousand damage with monsters in three seconds. It's dangerous. I think what I'll do is remove this. 
And then we'll try the one with the monsters hanging on the balloons. We'll put some monsters in. Okay, I need a couple more. And then we'll put balloons on them. I need this to slow down, though. Because monsters are scary and fast. It's a cursed birthday party. That's what this is. I don't even know what it means, but five monsters hanging on balloons. It seems like it's working, right? But the real question is, why stop at one when we can cover the map with uh, flying zombies? Flying monster zombies. I'm just going to let them speed up a little bit. I might need to push uh, Kevin around a little bit to get into the... There we go. And I think using five monsters means to entirely use up all of their skills. Because they have a limited amount of abilities. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever. Oh, we got one. I think. It's doing acid damage to him. Maybe that was the one balloon I popped. Oh, two went down. Use five monsters hanging in balloons. I don't know what that means. I'll tell you, I used way more than five of them and I didn't get the achievement. But I did get a new record, so that's fun. Now, I would like to try to get that thousand damage with monsters in three seconds. So I'm just gonna spawn all of these guys inside of here and hopefully they don't escape. That didn't work. Second chance, same as the first, could get better, but I know it's gonna get worse for our friend Kevin. There we go. I just have a lot of them and they're all just gonna munch on his brain. You'd think that these monsters don't like zombies, but they're all about it right now. They're escaping. They're escaping. So what happens if I create the fun portal again? And then we do this, and then we take the, the monsters, and we spawn them all vertically? Yeah. Go, little monsters! Do all your damage in three seconds. All right. I'm hoping it works. Oh, no, it's cutting back. There's a lot of them doing damage. Goodbye, saw blades. You'll just let me spawn in more monsters, which could be the deal breaker. All right, I need an auto clicker. There it is. There's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Flex tape's not gonna help Kevin. Yes, we got it. Hot dang, that's doing a ton of damage to this guy. Who knew that using only monsters could give me a high score? And I tell you what, my friends, with that, I think we're gonna put Kevin to take a little nap because, well, he's had a very busy day. Anyway, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed Happy Room. If you did, let me know and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippius, Ninja, General Harris, Trent M, Cordino, Ritlow Warrior, Zarna, Maxer, Ral, VC Engineer, Sarkarzo Rex, Spencer T, Whiskey, Endless, Zanius, Splatter Sex, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Brad, Dalton C, Cicadra D, Grayson, Alvora, 8830, Monkey, Kyle V, Zane W, Mr. Cripple One, Peyton Plays, Cordino, Gun Jammed, Ah, Fussy Badge, Missing Sniper, and Eli H.